Mm. All right, other news tonight. Churchgoers still reeling today after a local priest is put on leave. Father Jeff Drew was put on a leave of absence from St. Ignatius Church last week. He is accused of inappropriately texting at least one boy in his parish. Parishioners mm. only learned of the suspension a few days ago. Father Drew though we need to point out, is not charged with a crime. That's right, but just less than an hour ago, Hamilton County Prosecutor asked uh, Joe Dieters, ask anyone who has any information about any possible criminal activity at the parish to call Green Township Police. Not on your sides. Mariel Carbone is following this story today. And Mariel, a big concern still for people is the lack of information. That's right, and that's really the consensus from the parents and people that go to this church that I spoke to. They say they still don't know exactly what happened. They don't know the father's side of all this, and they don't know why they weren't told about other allegations sooner. Last night, confusion overwhelmed parishioners at St. Ignatius Church. It's absolutely shocking. Today, many of those questions still left unanswered, like why no one was made aware of the fact that Father Jeff Drew was being monitored. They gave us very, you know, little details, but uh, the questions that we asked, they, uh, it was kind of shoved off, pushed off to the side. And Drew was put on leave of absence last week after accusations that he inappropriately texted a boy. But concerns started before that when Drew served here at St. Max in Liberty Township. There, another concern led to Drew being monitored. No charges were ever filed. But the school says it was never made aware of this. In an email sent to parents this morning, Principal Kevin Vance wrote, I can state unequivocally that no administrator or school staff member was informed that Father Jeff should have limited contact with students before our meeting this morning. He goes on to say, if at any time a staff member is notified of alleged inappropriate behavior towards a student, we are mandated to inform civil authorities. This lack of communication leaving some wondering if they'll ever find out what happened. It'll get swept under the rug and he'll get reassigned somewhere else and we'll get a new priest. And I did reach out to the Archdiocese today several times with some follow up questions. No answers from them today. At this point, they say they're still working to get uh, accurate information together on all of this. But coming up at six, we'll hear more from one mother who has three kids at this school and what she says the talk is today as uh, parents try and figure out how to move forward. That's coming up at six. But for now, reporting live in Green Township, Marielle Carbone, nine on your 